Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd. If you're confused by the background, that means you're watching this on YouTube, uh, but I did this on Twitch. I have a Twitch channel, and I do Twitch gameplays and talking things, twitch.tv slash blacknerdgames. Come check it out sometimes. I got this in my emails directly from the Nickelodeon press department, and I was like, I gotta talk about this, because this is fascinating. You know I love them Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they are back <laughs> again. <laughs> they just keep coming back. Uh, yes, uh, Nickelodeon has announced that they are making a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. It is official. I know there's been rumors about it for quite some time, but this is the official, official Ninja Turtles news straight from the source. Nickelodeon Ready's next chapter of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with all new CG animated Theatrical release produced by Point Grey Pictures, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and James Weaver to create all new iteration of the iconic franchise and his chaotic cast of crime-fighting Ninja Turtles. Seth Rogen's production company is helping alongside Nickelodeon and Paramount to make this movie. That's right, we are getting Seth Rogen's <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> we had Michael Bay's, <laughs> now we're getting <laughs> Seth Rogen's. <laughs> I'm all ready for it. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what that means, but it's going to be a thing. <laughs> so this will be a theatrical movie. So this is not replacing anything. This is not the new series. You know, Rise is still going on. They're actually still making that Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie that's going to go on Netflix. But this is a completely separate thing. It's going to be in theaters. Hopefully we'll be able to go to theaters by the time it comes out. We'll see how that goes, but it is legit. Uh, this is a theatrical motion picture. It's gonna be directed by Jeff Rowe. Jeff Rowe uh, worked on Gravity Falls, uh, Connected, and Disenchantment. Now there's no information about what the movie's about, what it's gonna be based on, what's gonna be different, other than the fact that it is going to be fully CG animated, which I think is good. We had the live action back in the day with the animatronics. We had the live action a few years ago with the CG. I think going full CG is good because I think that we'll now actually get the ninja part back in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The thing about the Bay produced films, he didn't direct them, he produced them, uh, is that by having live action but the CG turtles, I felt like it was a lot of just spectacle and it wasn't a lot of actual fighting. One thing you could definitely say about the 1990 movie and its sequels, you had stunt performers in those costumes doing ninjutsu, doing all the, the action and the stunts. And that's what makes that still work to this day. Like those people worked hard, really, really hard on doing that. So I think doing a CG, full CG movie will be good because then you can do some really cool things this time with animation. You could really do some really cool animated effects. And if it's gonna be on the theatrical level, then yeah, you can really have some fun with that. Now, it is Seth Rogen's production company. So it makes me wonder how much of it is just his company is just helping to produce it and how much it is going to be that involvement. Like, are we going to get the Seth Rogen cast of players? <laughs> you know, is Jonah Hill going to voice Ninja Turtle now? Like, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's going to be a celebrity voice cast. Like, I think we can pretty much assume that. I will be surprised if it's not. But I think that that's something that we're just going to have to accept. I think that's probably one of the reasons why they made it all CG. They tried to get Johnny Knoxville's voice in that last one. <laughs> they had Corey Feldman back in the 90s. We getting celebrity cast in this. But who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll still throw in Rob Paulson as a uh, as a uh, as a little Easter egg. <laughs> I'm down for that. So go ahead and start making your predictions now of who's going to voice the Ninja Turtles uh, because I think that's going to happen. But like I said, I think it's really cool they're doing this. The last time that we had a fully CG Ninja Turtles movie was, of course, back in 2007, TMNT, uh, which I enjoy, which is a good movie. That movie, they were cool enough to use voice actors for the Ninja Turtles. They brought in celebrity voice cast for the other characters. So April O'Neil was Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, Chris Evans was Casey Jones. Can you believe that? That man has been the Human Torch, Captain America, and Casey Jones. <laughs> Chris Evans. <laughs> and uh, uh, Patrick Stewart was in that too. But they had voice actors for the, the Ninja Turtles in that movie. But I, again, I think we're gonna get celebrities in this one. I think it'll be interesting to see it with CG, but on the theatrical level. Although, obviously, 
huge fan of the 2012 series. Would have loved to have seen a movie version of the 2012 series, which was already in CG. But, you know, a CG movie, I'm assuming, is going to have a bigger budget and maybe some more to play with than maybe the CG series. Then that's also the thing to keep in mind with this. is like, what is going to be the tone of this? Curious with this one, are they trying to hit, like, a younger generation? Is it going to be, like, the next generation's Ninja Turtles? Are they going to try to do something that's a little bit for everyone? And, you know, it's going to be like, well, it's going to have some stuff that people who grew up on Ninja Turtles will appreciate. Is it going to pull from any particular source material? Is it going to be like its own original story? Or are they going to try to pull something from the IDW comics, maybe? Or even going all the way back to the Mirage comics? You know, there's a lot of things that the IDW comics are doing, including even a new Ninja Turtle, Jenica. So, like, could that be the source of this? Um, I think there's a lot of cool options. I'm just really interested in seeing what the tone is going to be. Is it going to be more comedic? Are they going to try to do more ninja stuff? Are they going to keep the story like grounded in, you know, New York and the sewers and fighting the Shredder and the Foot Clan? Or are they going to go all, you know, Dimension X, Krang, Triceraton, Rocksteady and Bebop? You know, are they going to use some of the classic mutant characters? Are they going to use some new stuff? I don't know. I just think that this is a cool opportunity to have something that maybe has another voice. I feel like maybe there's a a way here to do something kind of different with the franchise something something unique while still paying homage and heart to what ninja turtles is all about it's too early to tell that's why it's like it's all about just knowing that the news exists being excited for it being hopeful for it but just also understanding that as always it may not be everything you want but it, at least it will exist they keep saying this is nick animation studios first cg animated film which is weird because I thought that was Jimmy Neutron, but maybe they're saying it's the first one that their particular studio made. Maybe all the other ones were other companies made it and they were just a distributor of it. But I guess this is like the first one that Nick Animation Studio is doing themselves. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the rest of the article is just talking about all the stuff that they've done with Turtles uh, and just how awesome they are as a merchandising force. <laughs> Which is that's what this is all about. This is just about keeping that franchise fresh so you can keep selling them toys. <laughs> that's what it's really all about, everyone. Commerce. The only thing that I will say that I wish they will still consider, even if they're going to make this movie, there was some magic that happened with that Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles direct-to-video DVD slash digital release. I just thought that that was really cool. And if they're going to make this movie and if they're going to keep making the television series, I hope that they still think about doing that as well. I think Ninja Turtles has a place in the direct to home market the same way that the DC animated movies do. I think that's a great way to do different variation Ninja Turtles. I think it's a great way to do more Ninja Turtles properties or Ninja Turtles stories for maybe the older, more, you know, legacy Ninja Turtle fan that you don't have to do everything for the kids because that that Batman Ninja Turtles movie it's got the Nickelodeon logo on it but that ain't Nickelodeon material one that thing is that thing got some some depth <laughs> and some depth <laughs> you know but they can do that when it's not on the network when it's off to the side doing its own thing so I think that would be kind of neat if they still did that plus it's a great way that you can have different artists different iterations of Turtles Turtles is just one of those cool franchises where everyone could take its chance at doing something unique and different with it and as long as you kind of keep keeping on with that story of the multiverse of turtles you could definitely keep that going so i think that that's a good thing i would like to have too it's great to have a movie i definitely want a cg movie again i hope we're going to theaters by the time it comes out but i would at least like to see that they still try to make some more uh direct home uh turtle stories like the batman versus ninja turtles one that was just so good i like to see more things like that i'm keeping my hopes up that something good's gonna come out of this. But if anything, it's just another Ninja Turtles thing. You know, just, just the fact that a franchise about giant mutant turtles who fight like ninjas, who live in the sewers, who eat pizza, who are named after Renaissance artists, who are trained by a rat, and who fights a guy that looks like a giant kitchen utensil. The fact that that has lasted over 35 years is amazing and they still are trying to make stuff with it to this day. But if it has a little bit of humor, has a little bit of heart, I'm all about it. Um, and I'm just interested in seeing what the take's gonna be. I'm interested in seeing what this is going to be. 
and particularly with Seth Rogen being involved, I'm really interested in what the tone of it is going to be. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, I don't know what to expect, but I just think it's cool that they're doing this. But yeah, man, I just love that Ninja Turtles is still going. It's just really cool that this franchise is still going. It's something I grew up with, still exists to this day, to the point where I can talk about it on the internet um, as an adult, talking about Nickelodeon making a Ninja Turtles thing. <laughs> But hey, Seth Rogen's behind it. And if Seth Rogen is going to make a movie in the Ninja Turtles, then I can talk about them. <laughs> so there you go. So uh, who's going to be the voice cast in the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> who's going to be voicing April O'Neil? Who's going to voice Baxter Stockman? They're going to bring Tyler Perry back? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hey, I can voice Baxter Stockman if you want. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I actually did this while I was on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Black Nerd Games. I'm usually playing games on there, but occasionally we'll have discussions like this. So if you happen to be catching this on YouTube, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel as well. I would love for you to come by. So come hang out. But you know, I'm still gonna be on YouTube as well. So you don't have to leave this yet. I haven't given up on it yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just playing. I love you like a play cousin.